When you think back in the history of Pittsburgh and the formation of the steel mills and they had neighborhoods that were segregated by country of origin, you know, I grew up in a heavily Irish neighborhood. Immediately you began to build bridges within these neighborhoods that created a bonding where community was part of how you grew up. 1982 recession is really when steel went into decline here. We experienced a period of deep decline economically, and it had a big impact on the psyche of our community. My father was a steel worker, and my friends' dads were steel workers, and they would just sit, waiting for jobs to come back that just were never coming back. It was a desert. What took us out of the decline was really the leadership of our academic communities and the rise of Pittsburgh as a med tech education mecca. But our young people, they need the tools and the access and the self-empowerment to be able to, to do it themselves. Capturing our skill in digital space is a key part to reassert Pittsburgh and the leadership role that we've had. The decline of, of an industry that was once one of the most vibrant in the United States, hubbed in that city, creates a resilience for people that they manage adversity really well and hardworking people. When you apply the Western Pennsylvania work ethic, with a modern day education, you've got a pretty significant thing to believe in there in terms of the potential of the young people of Pittsburgh. The AT&T Believes program, it's an investment in our youth and the Cyber Patriot Camp is an example of an aligned activity. So we'll be going through basic command line security and intermediate Ubuntu security. They protect a network, they attack a network, they learn how to put patches in to rebuff attacks. For the operating system, it recognizes these things by a user ID. This program is special for me because I really want to focus on like forensic cybersecurity and I want to make a better future for myself. We're also working specifically with AT&T on an anti-bullying campaign, trying to understand how the cyber environment has changed the age-old problem of bullying. AT&T has a fantastic cyberbullying initiative. It's called the Upstander Initiative. And so Pit Cyber in particular is really excited to bring our own research to it to make sure that our research can have an impact in the community. It hats off to AT&T. It's corporate responsibility at the highest level and it's identifying us as a worthy partner who can help answer questions that we need to answer. Like, I was often the only black person in the classroom, right? Like, which was fundamentally different, right? Right now, we have our students in a mentoring session. What have you found out thus far that has been just a, you know, a revelation for you? There's a lot of tech jobs and stuff in Pittsburgh I didn't, I wasn't familiar with before I came. All Star Code is the largest organization focused on ensuring that young men of color can also participate in the technological world. All of this is so valuable because it can get us jobs in the future and friendships forever. Does it feel like more than a coding program? Yeah? AT&T has been such a special partner, giving us generous funding early on, visiting different AT&T sites, and the level of support from local employees is really significant. If you ever recognize an opportunity where it's like, oh, I'm not sure, or that's kind of scary, that's probably the best time to jump head in and take that on. I'm so proud to see AT&T support a cause like All Star Code. It's giving them that first opportunity to be exposed to things that they wouldn't otherwise see. I feel like I have a future in this. It's, it's really, really good feeling. The Governor's School for the Sciences here at Carnegie Mellon is a five-week summer residential experience of uh, study and research for talented students. So then it would be categories based on that. It would just be the cost of you. We define that as a discord pile. It's all about learning for the joy of learning, doing it collaboratively, and the facilities at Carnegie Mellon are unlike any of the facilities that they have in their high schools. So the Believe Initiative in Pittsburgh, it was decided, would be about empowering our young people. 
from preschool to would-be college students and helping them do the brilliant things that you guys are doing here today and hopefully we'll do down the road. AT&T was one of our first sponsors and we honestly couldn't run the program without them. That's super I think it's safe to say it's one of the most rigorous pre-college experiences in the country, but the social transformation is at least as important. I'm definitely a lot more productive here than I've been before. It's very nice to be with people who are similar to me in a lot of ways. We're going to do some backpack packing today, and we want you to write a message to the kids who are receiving these backpacks from us. We got about 160 that we're going to do. Assembly line process. You start, work your way down. This should get them all started. Yeah. Everybody lives in neighborhoods. People still know their neighbors. People still help each other in need. That's what I love about Pittsburgh. You add the heart of AT&T to the Pittsburgh mentality, man, we're gonna make a huge difference here. Are you gonna be inspirational? Are you ready? Be glorious. You are special. You are amazing. You are important. You are special and you are loved. You guys don't realize what those notes are gonna mean to kids who usually don't have adults in their lives thinking about them taking a chance and saying, I believe in you, believe the bird, literally. That note is gonna mean a lot to these kids. Be creative and work hard. If you can inspire someone, you win. Dream really big because nobody can set limits for you and you can do anything that you want. People tend to think of AT&T as a global giant, a big company, and then certainly there's a level of truth to that, but the reality is AT&T always has been and always will be its individual people. So it shouldn't be a surprise that the strength of believe is gonna come from the individual employees. You know, you can throw money at a problem all day, but there's nothing like 50 or 100 or even one person that really cares. If you wanna make a better society, educate our youth. If you wanna reduce the crime rate, educate our youth. If you want to help the country get better, nurture our youth. And so what Pittsburgh believes and AT&T believes, it's an investment in our youth. If we learned anything from the nightmare, from the desert that was the 80s, is that the only way we can get anywhere is if we lock arms and kind of walk forward together. That's how you build tomorrow. And hopefully that creates a ripple. And uh, you create enough ripples, you've got a pretty big wave. And uh, I believe the Belief Initiative will have created a pretty big wave. And it's special because it's something you know is going to succeed. Our employees do this carefully, thoughtfully, and then when we show up, we make a difference. And making a difference in your own neighborhood, it just feels very special.